decline in your health right now. And we keep saying the word listeria, but there are new safety concerns of eating frozen waffles, and it's tied to listeria. As you can see, Dr. T is with us. The brands include Kodiak Cakes, as well as store labels from Target and Walmart. The manufacturer warns they could be contaminated with listeria. So Dr. Todd Ellern, who's the chief of infectious diseases at South Shore Health, is with us. Good to be with you. Good to be with you. This is this is a massive recall, and, and we have just learned more. We've just learned, for example, tonight that Treehouse Foods added even more items today, including frozen pancakes. It's growing? Yeah, and obviously the concern here is, is listeria is serious, right? It's the third leading cause of foodborne illness and mortality in the United States. And the issue is that this can be very serious for the elderly, for extremes of age, infants, as well as immunocompromised patients and pregnant women. Yeah. So we wanna, you know, the good news so far is that it, this hasn't affected any people, but there's a lot of frozen waffles. One of America's staples is being recalled well, right and now. That's where I wanted to go. If, if, you're, if you're freezing food and then heating it up and toasting it, that doesn't kill the listeria? Right. For many bacteria, freezing kills, but in Listeria's case, it can survive in the refrigerator and in the freezer, and that's a major problem. And you can actually see here on the graphic um, that there's um, about 1,600 infections per year with Listeria and 260 deaths. Again, the third leading cause of foodborne illness and death in the United States. And, and, but, but people associated with what? With, with lettuce or, or the, or the uh, boar's head recall that we talked about recently? Right. And, and not frozen waffles. Right. And we just in July, Boar's Head was responsible, remember, for 59 hospitalizations and 10 deaths, being one of the most serious outbreaks of listeria since back in 2011 with wow. cantaloupes. So the good news is we haven't heard about any recent cases. If you right. bought Boar's Head after July, then you know likely you're going to be okay. Anything that's you know in the stores right now should be fine. But you know it, this is really a wake-up call right. to food safety and. Yeah. So, so, so let's expand on that boar's head thing just a little bit. You talked about, we, we talked about the recall. Are, are, I'll ask a simple question. Are those products, those deli products safe to eat now? I think anything that's in the store right now is safe to eat. Now, does that mean everyone's going to feel safe enough to go out and buy boar's head? No. But the bottom line is, remember, remember boar's head closed the one plant in Virginia, in that Jarrett, Virginia, that plant, that was the only plant where Listeria was coming out of. So that's been closed, and since that time, we haven't seen any cases. So if it were me, I'd be okay eating deli meat for boar's head, but again, I think the important thing is remember, right. who shouldn't be eating deli meat? Right. If you're elderly, yep. if you're immunocompromised, if yep. you're pregnant, you want to avoid yep. deli meats, you want to avoid those soft, unpasteurized cheese. These are some important things to try to prevent Listeria in the most vulnerable patients. Great information. Great to see you. Good to Thanks see you, Ed. Good to see you.